Good morning guys. Bit of a late start today. It's almost 7 o'clock. Didn't get a great sleep even though I went to bed a little earlier. My mattress I think has a puncture in it so it's slowly deflating which is a bummer. Uh, if I come across uh, like a big stream or something I'll see if I can blow it up and find uh, the puncture. But yeah, it should be a good day. A little bit cooler today, again, uh, manageable temperature, so gonna take advantage of it, enjoy the day, do some good walking right now in the morning, and just kind of walk as far as we can, and uh, hopefully get some good photos and see some interesting things. Samsa's for breakfast. Oh. And clear as well. Oh wow. Yep. It's just like uh, with naan. Yep. Kind of thing. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. the naan as well. Like we can say like a pie as well. You know there's mushroom pie inside? Yeah. That's the same as well. Same idea. Yeah. That's uh, different makes as well. You can take it as well. Oh, that is so cool. Yes. That's that. It's one hour, two hours, staying in the oven, and the So a few thoughts. The first is, whenever I get into a new country, there's this transition period of figuring out what I can get and how often I can get it. And at the first week of walking in Uzbekistan, I had a difficult time figuring out how often restaurants appeared, how often markets appeared, but now I have a pretty good grasp on it and I come to look for Somsa restaurants every morning for breakfast. So that's what I just had for breakfast was Somsas. They're these little meat pies that are cooked in a tandoor, this big clay pot just like they use to cook naans in India. And they're these meat pies with sauteed onions, maybe uh, some pepper in there, but generally just sauteed onions and meat. And you can put some tomato sauce or chili in there as well. The guy at that restaurant, Zohid, worked as a chef in London for seven years, so he spoke great English and he was showing me around how he cooks the somsas. And it's really cool because he built this clay tandoor himself and he lines the pot, the tandoor, with these somsas lets the coal sit and then they can just stick on the side of the tandoor for about two hours and not get cold or too dry. So really cool to see and one of the national foods of Uzbekistan. It's about 12 o'clock now. Sav and I found this little spot in the shade to take a break. And we'll walk about three more hours a day but I found out recently that this is one of the cooler districts in Uzbekistan, uh, temperature-wise, because it runs along these mountains. So today, it's only gonna get up to maybe 83, 85 degrees Fahrenheit, which is such a big difference than the 95 plus that we were walking a couple days ago. And it gives me a lot of space, a lot of time, to walk throughout the day. But right now I'm a, I'm a little sore, uh, so I'm gonna take a nap and then get back to it. It's 2.30 right now. Sav and I have walked 25 kilometers. And I found this little storage building I think it's a storage building at least. It's kind of unused, this whole storage building on the side of a road that we are resting in. Uh, it got actually kind of surprisingly hot the past hour, uh, so decided to take a little break. We got a nice breeze coming in down from the mountains and uh, yeah, just uh, resting up. We only have two more hours or so of walking and plenty of time to do it. So just relaxing, enjoying, not being crushed by the heat uh, it looks like probably 
for the next day or two we'll be in like a little cooler climates we're kind of up at a slightly higher altitude right now and along this mountain ridge uh, and then what we're going to descend over the next two days we're going to descend back into this the valley that leads to Tashkent so then it'll get hot again so really just trying to enjoy it as much as possible right now first clouds that have covered the sun in Uzbekistan while I've been here makes such a big difference. Even looks like there might be some rain ahead. It's the end of another day. Uh, Sav and I have a dream campsite tonight. This is this is the gold standard. This is as good as it gets for a campsite. And on this grassy hill right here, no breeze or a very little breeze, no wind. Some clouds in the sky. I have internet. It's quiet. I can hear the birds chirping. It's this is the perfect campsite. And I've been walking less than normal since Samarkand. Usually I like to do at minimum 35 kilometers a day. Today I only did about 33, uh, but this is such a good campsite. And up ahead I'll get to a little town. So I just cut it short. I don't have anywhere to be. I'm not gonna make it to Tashkent before my visa runs out anyway. So I'm just trying to enjoy this as much as possible. And this campsite, is definitely something to be enjoyed. Before I set up camp, one thing I thought I should touch on, or that just occurred to me that I should touch on, is how I keep myself clean while I'm out here. This is something I figured out, actually on the advice of an ex-girlfriend years ago when I was in Mexico because I was getting so built up with gunk and dust and grime and I couldn't find any uh, fountains to clean off in. When I was in America, especially in the south, uh, in, in the U.S., in the, the, um, uh, the south United States, I slept at churches almost every night and I would take the showers with the the hoses there. And when I get into Mexico, I wasn't didn't have that. I was camping in uh, forests and in bushes and stuff like that. Uh, so I needed to figure out a better way to keep myself clean. And maybe this is super obvious, it's probably super obvious, but it took me a couple months to figure out. But the secret is baby wipes. And it doesn't do the best job, obviously, a shower and soap are better, but this is a good in-between and it keeps me from getting rashes. And so my feet right now are pretty dirty from just the dust 
uh, of walking and these will clean them up and uh, have me good to go for tomorrow. <laughs> Pretty dirty, as you can see. A lot of dirt on there. And I'll use these baby wipes to clean them up. Well, our very peaceful and not windy campsite became suddenly a very windy campsite. Probably from the storm in the distance. So Sav came in pretty quick. And we're getting a little protection from the wind with the tent. Still have a great view though, so we can we can enjoy that until the sun goes down. 